Hello and welcome to this week bit show. Hmm. On the bench uh, we have from Christian uh, Harman Kadon HD 720 CD player. And what's happened is uh, if you switch it on, I open the deck here. As if you switch it on, no functions are here. What can that be? It's very interesting. What can that be? Inside the display, it's not viewable, but you can see a little bit of flickering around. But what it is? Ah, it's a ah, processor doesn't start. But what can it happen? Hmm. Can we repair it? Is that possible? Look at this power supply. In the picture, uh, you we have here a transformer. It's dangerous here also uh, to touch this. It's high voltage. But what is happened here? Look at this. You see this electrolytic capacitor, this blue one? And here we have a lot of dark brown around. I make a zoom. Maybe the camera will come. You see this black stuff here? Ha! This is electrolytical thing from these capacitors and maybe from the second they are back on here. It's floating out. Dropped out this. Ah! I think I would like to rebuild the board. Don't forget to disconnect this. <laughs> it's not so it's not so good if you um, have it plug in and uh, yeah something will be destroyed also you are danger it's dangerous to have this now we have here uh, the screw I unscrew it now and we must uh, disconnect this unscrew it now and would like to change this electrolytic capacitor in case of that are damaged. Yeah. Also, the PCB board is damaged. And um, let's have a look after building out this. Ah, it's interesting. <laughs> One funny thing of the Harman Kardon. I never know that Harman Kardon is a New York City company. I never heard. I heard Harman Kardon a lot of, and it's so good and so cool and stuff like this. But um, I never have heard they came from New York City. Uh, on the back shield, um, there is written a print on, uh, and is written it came from New York City. <laughs> Very funny. Never heard about. Uh huh. There is one screw more. We have it here, and we must open it. It's very today. I'm not so, not so in good condition. Ah, it's interesting. All right. Also, the ground here. Don't forget this screw. Next time, I would like to buy an electrical. Uh, oh, what's happened here? Aha! On the back side, uh, there are two screws. Loosen them. Um, and opening it, they are black, they are black screws, you see, and plastic. Uh huh. So we have it. Oh, uh -oh. this external, but seems to be disconnected. Ah, disconnected. Yeah, now it's disconnected. What's this? The control cable. Uh huh. Disconnect all this. Aha. Uh -huh. So here is the capacitor. You see it. Everything is black. Look. Everything black. You can see it. It's the blackest from black. <laughs> yeah. All is flooding out the electricity from these capacitors. Ah, the ah, the middle is a little bit bunched. Yeah, it's a little bit bunched out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, look at this. Here we have the 
the black electrolytic from the oh, it's interesting huh? it's floating over the whole board you can see it here it's outside like an outline here <laughs> interest huh? Huh? we must dis uh, dissolder it uh, the minimum is this 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 um, and clean up this board and then what 1000 uh -huh. we can also check up this if we, we, if we open it we have all change can all change this this we, we changed uh, it's a little dirt inside mm, yeah so must heating up the the soldering iron it's uh, with a three hand uh, I solder with this in no way uh, I don't know it's a Chinese stuff but it's very it's super this is the whole station. You don't have a, a, a big box on the table. Yeah, you can put it here and it's super, really. I like it very much. It's cost like 40 euros or so. And 45 maybe. I don't I don't remember. I have it now mm, half a year. Mm, three, three quarter of a year. Mm, so around, not a year, but uh, super, 300 and it works now. We sold the now with this. Oh, you can see. It's very easy to do this. Uh, we have the ground. So, uh -huh. With Zack, <laughs> Zack, and uh, where is the third? Ah, here, Zack. <laughs> Look at this crusty thing, unbelievable. Look, here is the the thing. It's coming out, huh? Unbelievable, huh? What for a dirt? <laughs> also the others. <laughs> ah. it's a, it seems to be a little bit accuracy because the the green vacrel, yeah, this is the print. Uh, this is um, a film. Uh, it's gone here, yeah, on this position. Yeah, we must clean up all this and put it in. Also, they build. 85 degrees Celsius. It's a it's a it's a bullshit electronic. It's for home consumer electronics. Yep. Not 105 degrees or 110. First, what we're gonna do is we making a look how dirty it is, huh? Making a clean. From this uh, conductive stuff, first we're doing the the cleaning, and then we clean it with acetone. Um, I have one here. Isopropyl doesn't work, I think, but uh, this is cool. This is the power supply for your information. Um, here comes the uh, over this connector comes the the voltage in from the transformer, and this is AC. Transformers are came out AC every time, um, or pulses. And here we have diodes. Uh, this is a rectifier. Look, it's a, it's a rectifier, double rectifier. Four diodes is one rectifier, and this pulsing 50 hertz uh, signal uh, power supply will become a hundred hertz after this rectifying, and this will be filtered by this fat elco. Yeah, this one should be filtered the wave and flatten it. It's an energy storage between that, yeah? This is important. Look at this. 
have a 4700 microfarads and the 25 volts this is the the voltage and this is a storage between that and flatten the curve or flatten these pulses and these are also two should be flattened and we must give a new one the, the smaller one are 2200 microfarads and 25 volts but only 85 degrees that means uh, the lifetime is limited by I think so 2000 or 4000 hours uh, it depends on the producer what the capacitor is producing uh, and one important thing also higher and smaller are lower inductive <laughs> capacitors are also inductive really it's no joke if they are small and fat then they have much inductivity and if they are uh, have this smallness like this one centimeter so so 1.2 then and high then lower the inductivity yeah this is also important to say now we must clean up this first we must clean this up uh, it's a it's a job it's a dirt job but uh, we got a uh, acetone to, sorry acetone it cleans uh, so it's heavy <laughs> mm. and um, I must clean it up here the things I hope so it works don't smoke <laughs> in front of the acetone because it burns very light look at this ah, oh my gosh look at this how this is working the acetone is really heavy I hope so it don't kills my fingers look <laughs> maybe this is my finger huh oh look oh gosh ah I I don't think so it's good for me and for my heels and then we must also do this in case normally I have a compressor here but uh, during the cameras it's not good for a compressor to doing this with a compressor in front of a camera then you have a lot of dust in your lens and uh, you can kick your camera <laughs> to the garbage it's okay it's well good I think look on the back side are also uh, ICs they doing the control and LA number 9240 aha uh -huh. maybe this is the converter I don't remember it Um, motor controller with heatsink. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, here maybe must be the, the the converter chip. This is the converter. Aha! Uh -huh. What is this for a converter? It's a Burr Brown who PCM one seven one O U. Mm -hmm. One thousand seven hundred ten U. Burr Brown. This is one of the best, one of uh, super company. Here you can see it. This is the chip, but um, it's uh, it's very dangerous. To, it's not easy to see. Look, this is a a hammer. Um, this company, Burr Brown, um, made a lot of analog ICs, and after they doing this, they I were bought, bought, bought from Texas Instruments. Yeah. Yes. Also, you must uh, clean this with the with the screwdriver. Here, it's crusty. Yeah, and we must clean this crustiness from between all these parts. What happened here? It's 
not so it's not so funny huh to clean up this well the company who should repair this or Christian told me they said they don't have an original uh, part for it mm, I don't understand why they don't repair it but now we can say it MCL is um, in concourse uh, bankruptcy yeah and um, this company is from the market uh, they don't would like to repair it maybe they have they don't have people they can do this clean up this uh, thing um, also we must clean up here acetone number two <laughs> I mentioned it uh, don't smoke in front of it it's look with this pushy thing I clean it up <laughs> that makes sounds, huh? What is this for QD3? A big transistor, huh? And this, aha, uh -huh. other fat transistor. I hope so, the voltage is not overshooting this and we, must, we can repair it. Um, hope so for this player because Haman Kardon is a good company, I think. The construction, um, the, the the built-in material, they are not so good, but okay. <laughs> they put it on the same board. Yeah, this is not nice. Someone asking me, I found out this um, capacitors, electrolytical, from, from interest company Sheng X, <laughs> 1000 microfarads, 35 volts, and 105 degrees Celsius. This is the this is the temperature. Ah, maximum temperature. Interest wise, these are very small, and we must um, desolder it. What happened? Plus is here, and minus is here. A minus voltage. Mm -hmm. I hope so it fits inside this. Ah, come on, ah, shortcut it. Why we change this? Because after running time, maybe we can measure it. It's correct, but. Um, is that good? <laughs> it's my question back. And um, is that good enough for this reparation? I change it. Why not? They cost not so much. And um, if I have the machine open, so I change it well. Have enough space here and um after cleaning this dirt it's near clean will that fit and how it could be that the electrolytic capacitors are coming so out. This is an interesting question about all this electronic stuff. Yesterday in the evening I got the spare parts. Here we are. It's out of 4700 microfarad capacitors. We take one out and build it in. Um, bending the pins you can see it's a 4700 microfarads and 35 volts oh size big this <laughs> look Chang X <laughs> it's a Chinese Chinese capacitor and here we are with the 2200 microfarad capacitors it will cost at Amazon around 
21 or 22 uh, euros and here we are also have the 2200 um, microfarads with a 25 volt Samson mm -hmm. <laughs> Samson <laughs> very funny name okay maybe they are from Samsung Samsung <laughs> And um, we build it in now uh, to operate this. Um, we must turn on the soldering iron, and uh, it's built in here. You can see it, it's built in here. The capacitors and the big one here. Uh, we must look at the polarity, uh, it's very important to have the correct polarity. And this happened like this. Um, uh -huh. I think so. This is the ground. Grounding is here. That seems to be. This is the. This is the high voltage, and here is the minus. You can put it in here. Ah. The hole is closed. Maybe. Uh huh. Look. Look. It fits good. And we soldered it here with the soldering iron 370 degrees um, it's more than enough for this solder I hope so it stands out correct and the second what we should solder in is this uh, the other one two parts here for the second filter it seems to be this is like the same as these other capacitors and we solder it here huh, very funny I need a third hand and ah, not so cool today Let's have a look on the other side that they have a correct stand. Uh huh. Looks like nice. Mm, nice and clean. Now we must cut the leads. And for this, we need this instrument. This cutter. It's not a cutter, it's a. Uh, is there the other word to it? So, that's correct, and check up, all okay, and everything right, clean up is okay, and now we build it in. And here we build it in, into the existing CD player, and um, First, we would like to not connect all, but the connectors, we should not screw all. Maybe we must rebuild uh, one thing here, and we're doing one screw or two to fix this board here. And uh, I think. Maybe it works. First we connect the special connector here. Ah, oh, this is very funny. Super. <laughs> Finish. For installation or for assembly, it is very cool to have a thing like this. Also the ground we uh, fix here. Look at this. Look at this. But it work, it's working. Hey, hey, come on. What are you doing? We must repair also you. Now you're spinning. This is a good sign that you are spinning. 
Spinning means I would like to initialize and what we're gonna do to initialize, we initialize in excess. That's a band from the 80s. So it's initializing 18 tracks, perfect. So look, look, <laughs> cool. Play. Hey cool, it works. I don't give uh, I don't can give a sound because in the case of this copyright problem uh, yeah I must make a CD uh, for the compairments for the for the players it should be but that means uh, this automatical in and out means that the that the belt drive is not good I think it's not it's not perfect it's not perfect so now this um, this drive are shaking out and going in and so this is talking tuck 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 tuck. Uh, it's not so good. I think so. I disconnected from the power supply. Power supply is working now, and I must uh, deinstall this this deck in case of. Analyzing, uh huh, interest, long screws, look, <laughs> very long. <laughs> and we must analyze uh, what's happened here with this deck. And, uh huh, let's see. Oh, come on, there are a lot of screws. Uh, hmm, interest. Maybe this machine is so high and Checking up the belt box. Here we are. It's uh, I think 35. Uh, uh, it's too small. It's not 38. 40. It's 40. I think it's 40, not 45. 45 is too big. Ah, uh, 40. I think it's a 40. Yeah, correct. We take the 40, 40 millimeters in, dia in diameter and check out this and would like to show what's happened. Look, ah, so size, that's so, not so important I think to do this. Mm-hmm, okay. Seems to be okay. Now what's happened now? Okay. Ah, it's stronger. It goes back stronger. Knacks. <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay. We hope so. It works. Hope so it works. Okay. Um, I must build up this again. Is there a direction? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Look. <laughs> you can. <laughs> you must put it here on this side. Ah. And where are my screws? Hmm. <laughs> Loosen. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think so. This is the correct, the correct one, and I drill it in. This is the correct one. Yes, correct. It fits perfect. Look at this. The dirt. We must. Clean up this like with this. So that's better. It looks better. And now we must um, bring the screw in here.
in that case of the of the drive I inspect all these mechanisms what is inside uh, I think the the tray uh, what's going out here and in making this tuck 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 but now you have a watch and I insert a CD and close the door tuck initialize and <laughs> well 18 tracks 67 minutes play it works but this tuck 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 I cannot find out what's happened with this tuck 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 um, it's on the it's on this drive it's a sun with a sunny laser and um, well maybe the sunny laser is working now I make stop eject it look this tuck 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 I think it's worst, but okay, it's not worst. It's this mechanism is doing this tuck 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 tuck. I don't know why, but it happens. So one very important thing is this. <laughs> funny, very funny, huh? <laughs> Model number HD seven hundred twenty Harman Kardon Woodbury <laughs> in New York. <laughs> made, <laughs> made in China. <laughs> That's correct. They designed it in New York and um, let it build in China, like Apple, <laughs> and then uh, they, they resell it in the whole world. Now you can see what the HD720 happened and a power supply and a defect belt makes the machine running again for the next years and this is the point from Harman and Cardon. Uh, a lot of service stations are closed now worldwide because uh, they cannot work for less money and all the people said they would like to buy after 10 years a new machine or five years but in future maybe there are never more any CD player exists because the industry would like to have it from the market and also the CDs because the sound quality it's um, at 95 decibel dynamic too too good for the public yeah. <laughs> they would like to doing with loudness war their cheap speakers and um, the listening quality is quite different between the 80s and 90s till today if you compare it it's not it's not the music itself, but uh, it's the music will be produced and all the things what are inside the music, like a voice or so, they are used as an instrument and resampled and doing with a synthesizer and so on. In the 80s, their bands are <laughs> having guitar amplifier, <laughs> not synthesizers. The synthesizer starts in the 80s, but um, a lot of bands using this instrument. It's a super instrument. I like it very much, but um, today uh, the music industry will cut it on a computer and so manipulate it um, and doing the loudness more. This is the problem. Thank you for watching and please, if you like this channel, subscribe it. And um, yeah, what shall I say? I have also patrons. <laughs> if you would like to support me and my crazy idea to repairing all the CD players in the world. So let's do that. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.